section uh, 5.4, the Poisson distribution. So this uh, Poisson distribution, this is another uh, discrete probability model. So we did discrete probability before, but this is another one. It's called Poisson probability distribution. Um, and this probability distribution, this is important. What is this for and what is it used for? This probability distribution can be used to compute probabilities of experiments in which the random variable x, so this random variable x, counts the number of occurrences or successes of a particular event within a specific or specified, let's say, specified interval. Usually this interval, a lot of times, usually it's the time, time or space. That's what um, Poisson distribution does. Uh, so, for example, like, how do I know I'm going to use Poisson distribution? Let's say uh, a manager at McDonald's knows from prior experience that the cars arrive to the drive through at an average rate of two cars per minute. Let's say two cars per minute. Between the hours of 12 noon and 1 p.m. Okay, so the random variable X, which represents the number of cars that arrive between, let's say, 1220 and 1240. This one follows the Poisson process. So, in general, why, how do you know it's Poisson? Because over a, a specific interval from 1220 to 1240, we would like to know the number of cars arrived over that interval, for example. Now, we would like to introduce the formula to calculate the probability for that. What's the probability that there will be 20 cars between this time, this time and this time? Or what's, what are the chances there will be 50 cars between these two times? So we define we say if x which is the number of successes in an interval so a random variable x follows a distribute uh, a poisson distribution formula given by uh, the the formula here is uh, is not set the right way so capital x equals small x which equals lambda lambda this is a greek letter lambda uh, lambda t to the x power over x factorial times e to the negative lambda t where x the small x goes 0 1 2 3 da, 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 and the e is about 2.718 and this is you can find it on the calculator the the letter e and this is um, called lambda it's a greek letter lambda and what does the lambda represent this represents the average number of occurrences or success of the interval of the interval of length one of length one so this is called the Poisson probability function. Okay, Poisson probability function. And if we need to apply a, um, an example to this, uh, this, this talks about the number of patients arriving at emergency room between 7 PM, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. So they, they're saying the probability that no one would arrive is this the probability that one person arrive will be this two people three people all the way up to 18 so th th this is just a 
given information. And what they did, they just plotted on the graph. They put like the number of hours, uh, like the X value went on the X axis and the probabilities went on the Y axis. And this is called probability histogram for, for the occurrence thing that we have up there. And now, which doesn't show here is we need to look at an example uh, how we calculate, how we work out computational part. Let's say we go back to the manager at McDonald's that knows um, that cars arrive at the drive through at the average of two cars, two cars per minute between the hours of 12 noon and 1 p.m. and 1 p.m. We would like to determine, determine the probability for, let's say, exactly six cars. So the probability that X equals six. Six cars arrive between 12 and 12.05, 12.05 p.m. So how do we do this? Well, we have we have the function or the uh, for that so it, it was x equals um, lambda t lambda t to the x over x factorial e to the negative lambda t so let's see what is lambda here lambda is the number of successes so this is the number of cars that's lambda so we have Two here times the time from 12 to 12.05, it's five minutes. Raised to x is given six over six factorial times e to the negative two times five again. And if you put that in the calculator, the bottom would give me 720. The top 10 to the six is one followed by six zeros, e to the negative 10. And again, one more time in the calculator, that gives me about 0 0.0631. So, this is about what? So, this is saying about, let me write that as the in interpretation for this, on about 6 of, because if you multiply by 100, that's 6.31, 6 of every let's say 100 days, exactly six cars will arrive between 12 noon, 12 and 12.05. That's what this means. That's the interpretation of it. Now let's add another part to it. What about if they say find the probability that fewer, fewer than six cars will arrive between 12 and 12.05. What's the probability for that? Well, they are saying what's the probability that x is less than six? x less than six. Well, this is the same as the probability x less than or equal to five. And how do we do this? It's gonna be it all starts at zero, remember, because when we defined x here, going back up, uh, I wrote something here. x starts at zero, zero, one, two, three, the variable. Zero, probability one, two, three, four, and five. And now what we need to do is to go back and substitute this for every single one of them. So we need to write the formula. If you write the formula, substitute that in two times five. The only thing changes is the zero, zero factorial, e negative two times five. So it will be the next one, one, that would be two times five to the first power, one factorial, e negative two times five. And you do the same thing all the way till the last one, two times five to the fifth power over five factorial, e negative two times five. And if you put that all in, that would be e negative 10 plus 10 e negative 10 plus 100 over 2 e negative 10. And this can go on and on to the last one, 100,000 over 120 e negative 10. And that would give me 0 0.0671. So again, about 6.7, if you multiply by 100, 
that means about seven seven of of every 100 days fewer than six cars will arrive between 12 noon and uh, 12.05 <clears throat> another part let's say at least at least six cars will arrive between 12 noon and 12.05 p.m what would be the probability that x at least means bigger than or equal to six we can use the complementary rule the complementary rule said it's one minus the probability x is less than six so that would be one minus the one we just found earlier 0 0.0671 and that would give us 0 0.9329 Another thing we need to learn here for this discrete probability distribution, we have the mean and standard deviation as we did in previous two sections. So there's a mean here. The mean um, for the variable x is defined as lambda times t. So when the variable x follows the Poisson process with parameter t, uh, lambda, parameter lambda, then the mean or the expected value it would be lambda times t and the standard deviation is the square root of lambda times t or basically the square root of the mean so when you find the mean uh, then you you find the standard deviation that's the good thing not power four and again t is the length length of the interval so this is this is good to know um we can try to apply this to an example so let's say we have suppose suppose that the random variable x has a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda parameter lambda equals four more well, let's say it's three we would like to determine the probability when x is three and then we're going to find the probability X is, mm, we can come up with um, <clears throat> an example, let's say less than four. So probability is three. Um, notice here, it didn't specify the time. And if you go back to the formula, we said if it follows Poisson distribution and the time is not specified, basically the time is one. So then, the formula for Poisson distribution, if you see it somewhere uh, in a different format, it could look like the probability that capital X is small x equals lambda t, so it's lambda to the x over x factor because t is one minus lambda. So here, x, they give it to us, lambda is three and x is three over three factorial, e negative three. And if you calculate this, I got 0 0.2240. For x less than 4, so less than 4, this means when x is 0 plus x is 1 plus x is 2 plus x is 3. That's what this means. So that would be e, uh, <coughs> lambda is uh, 3, 3 to the 0 over 0 factor, e negative 3, plus 3 to the first power, 1 factor, e negative 3, plus 3 to the second power, 2 factory, e negative 3. 3 to the third power over 3 factory, e negative 3. And then I put all that in the calculator. It gave me about 0 0.6472. Um, let's say they want us to find the mean find the mean of x 
So how do you find the mean? Well, the mean, we said the mean is lambda times t. But since t is 1, so it's basically lambda, which is 3. D, find the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the square root of the mean. So it's the square root of 3. And if you put that in, this is about 1.7321. 